pictures taken by passers-by and from offices show the dead and wounded cut down in the shadow of one of the world's most famous buildings. Midtown South Charlie section confirmed 10, 10 shots fired. West 33rd Street at 5th Avenue, several shots fired. There are multiple people shot in front of that Park State building. Police say it began when 58-year-old Jeffrey Johnson, who a year ago had been laid off from his job as a designer at an apparel business, confronted a company executive on a side street, pushed him to the ground, stood over him, and shot him. Johnson produced the pistol and fired at close range, striking his 41-year-old victim in the head. Steve Ercolino died at the scene. Anthony Collins worked in the lobby. Very nice man, comes in, says hello, very respectful. Meantime, Johnson rounded the corner onto busy Fifth Avenue. Alerted by a construction worker who saw the shooting from this scaffolding, two NYPD officers assigned to a roving anti-terror squad tried to stop him. Police say Johnson then pointed his 45 caliber handgun at the officers, who then opened fire on him. 16 shots in all, killing Johnson. We have two uh, civilians shot. Uh, the person shot. We have the EMS on scene. Uh, we have people point down. There's four people shot. I heard five or six shots. I seen people running. Then I heard somebody's yell saying, uh, he's shooting. He's got a gun. He's shooting. When the shooting stopped, nine pedestrians, five women, and four men lay wounded on the ground. Police say the suspect's gun had only an eight round clip. Police say it's likely all of those wounded were hit by straight police rounds. We don't know the speculation that that's what happened, uh, but we do know that the we have on tape the perpetrator pulled his gun out and tried to shoot at the cops, whether he got off any bullets or not, to be determined. How many he shot earlier with to be determined. We do know that the cops fired back. The tape clearly shows the guy has the gun out trying to kill the police officers. You heard the mayor mention tape. There were surveillance cameras rolling, and they took in a lot of what happened here. Those who were wounded were told none of the injuries are life-threatening. As for the weapon Johnson had, police say it was legally purchased in Florida in 1991, but it was not legally registered here in the city of New York. Back at the scene, Fifth Avenue, this part of Midtown Manhattan, only reopened just a couple of hours ago after a day, David, of long and tiring disruptions for New Yorkers. Lester Holt, you've been on the scene all day. Lester, thank you very much.